almost didn't do this one because this episode gave me a whole lot of nothing. So is it me or does Randall remind anyone else of Jason? Like in looks, certainly, but also in his behavior. Olive juice. Tommy met with the men and said, y'all making it harder than it needs to be, and I concur. LJ and Sharice went on a salsa day, and I felt so bad for LJ because Sharice was not giving him anything. Jamala and Randall go on a date, and clearly she is all in with him, and they are talking about being in love and all of that stuff, which Randall never actually said he was falling in love with her. Granted, that could be editing, but all I heard him say was, I'll do that stands for itself. I'm like, does it? Because you're not actually saying the thing. So there's a group workout trampoline date. Looney and Justice seem to be hitting it off. And it's very interesting because Justice does not seem that bad when he's in these one-on-one -on -one conversations, except for that one-on-one -on -one that he had with Jamala because he was talking about his process and everything. Like when he's just flirting with the girls and you know, being sweet and charming, he's nice. Shakira and Swayze go off and talk and Swayze is being very sweet and letting her kind of get whatever off her chest. I'm trying to figure out why she would need to bring that up on that date with him because it doesn't seem like he was a part of the drama at all. And now I'm on her side. I like her a lot, but it also sometimes feels like, girl, you don't have to have a different story though. Like there, there has to be more to you than this one piece of trauma. Samson and Brandy went on a date and it was sweet. I mean, it was really cute. Brandy reminds me of Joy in how, Joy at the beginning of the season, because I didn't like Joy by the end of last season, but in the sense that she's all in with Mike, but the guys seem to like her. She seems to be able to get along with anybody. Um, and she's really just here for Mike and whatever else happens is like, you know, I'm here for what I'm here for. Mike and Kayla went on a date to this pool hall. What was interesting about this to me was Mike called Brandy the reality and Kayla the fantasy. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but I would feel a little offended if I were Brandy by that comparison because I, I don't want to be the person you just settle for. Like, I want to be all of it, you know? I wanna be the person who could be your video fantasy, but also the reality of the situation is who I am to you, and what I bring to, you know, your life and all of that stuff. So I didn't like that comparison um, because it made it seem like I really want Kayla and if it could work in real life, I would love it. But, you know, Brandy's here and that's real. I, I didn't like that. So um, there's another group date with a whole bunch of people. Sharice and Samson seem to get along really well, which is interesting. I definitely thought that would fizzle out a lot quicker than it has. I mean, she really seems to like him. Katie and Swayze are hanging out and she seems to be a lot nicer to him than she is to anybody else, except maybe Zoe. Then, okay, so Tommy had this thought that everybody needed to get together so that everyone could be put out on the table and basically all I got from that was that everybody got beef like everyone has an issue with everyone Jamala even said some stuff to Randall like apparently he wasn't moving the way she wanted him to move with regard to the other ladies Kayla had some, some, something to say to Mike in front of everybody and for some reason he decided to go get up hold her hands and go talk to her in front of everybody and then go sit right next to Brandy again I, that was odd to me and I would have felt awkward because what? <laughs> so Shakira has left the building. You know, I, I don't feel like that was a wrong choice. It didn't seem like she had much of a connection with anyone at this point. She was feeling Samson for a while, but I think that fizzled out um, once he got connected to Sharice. I didn't like how Katie and handled that situation still. I mean, I think two things can be true at the same time. I think Shakira does have some things that she needs to work out, but I also think Katie and really didn't have any business saying anything about her to anybody or acting the way she did and, and cussing the girl out and all of that stuff. I mean, it's just childish and she feels so highly about herself. And it's just interesting to me how you can have so much energy for everybody else, but have no self-reflection when it comes to you and your behavior. So in, in the previews for the next episode, there is a best friend date, which it's interesting because I'm like, goodness gracious, we're already like halfway through the season. We're all, like, we're almost at the other end of the season. 
and lots of people have gone and this has been kind of the worst season yet it has not been that like eh. Hadian and Swayze get into it because she said something about you know well Swayze admitted that he's never dated a black woman and Kadian said that he said he's he's not interested in dating black women that he didn't want to date a black woman and so he was like that's not true so Kadian has kind of written her own check because I don't think anybody else is really interested in her and Swayze was the only person who was giving her the time of day and for what sir she's me the thing about Swayze never having dated a black woman I mean that was interesting in and of itself but I mean clearly you're here because dating black women is the point so I guess I just don't why would you I don't know what the point was of bringing it up clearly you're going to date a black woman whether it's long term or not who knows but most of these people are here for clout and TV time anyway so who cares you know in this season I have tried to you know I have been trying to do a moral of the story but I just don't have one because this has not been good